Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a great Saturday morning so far. Today, we are going to go ahead and finish off my purchase that I had about a few weeks back of the 1989 Donruss baseball cards. Got the final four packs here out of that huge lot that I purchased. It, uh, I think it was uh, basically two boxes worth of 1989 Donruss. And I think what had happened is the box was probably too damaged to put on display, so they just put them in those large Ziploc style bags and just sold them as is. Um, after the first few packs that I opened up, I think I opened up maybe eight to start off with, and didn't really pull anything that great. I was a little bit worried that maybe the uh, packs were searched, but if you go through and watch the little series we've got on these, you see that they were not searched and we did get some really nice rookie cards out of it. So these are the final four packs that I've got. And we'll go ahead and get started. Seeing we're up to 152 subs, so thank you for all the new people that have been subbing into the channel. And what I like to do when I open packs, I like to show you the front of the pack, and that way you have an idea of what the what the product comes in. If it comes in a pack or a box or whatever, I always try to show that, show you the odds if there's odds on the pack, any sort of gimmicks or promotions that they have involved, etc., etc. Of course, the 89 Donruss comes with the... Uh, Warren Spawn puzzle pieces. We'll try to get that put together at some point. Ken Williams is the first card of the day. Johnny Ray. Of course, I've talked about this before. I do like the design of the 89 Don Russ. I didn't get to collect these when I first started collecting. They'd already been released, and Tops was the one that was available to me in the, the stores around me, so I did get a lot of 89 Tops to start with. Really, 1990s where I really started getting a lot of cards but uh, really like the 89s. 89s where it all started for me. So first pack kind of starts out like our first video. Not really anything. Probably the puzzle piece was the uh, best part out of that. But we'll keep going. Jack Howell starts off pack number two. Carlos Quintana is our rook rated rookie in this pack. You're not guaranteed a rated rookie in every pack, but they're fairly easy to think, or it seems like they would be in every pack, as many as you pull. Can't remember how many rated rookies in, in total there are. Pete Incavilla, Diamond King, a checklist, and Larry Williams. So those two packs were very cold. Not a lot to offer in those two packs. And that happens from time to time. So pack number three. Going to start out with Lee Hammaker, Bob Kipper, and the list just continues. Mitch Webster, Mackie Sasser. So, not a lot of Cecil Fielder before he took off on a couple of strong home run seasons. Don Mattingly, Diamond King, that's the best card I believe we've come across so far. So, Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer, MVP card. Of course, we've talked those MVP cards are kind of the birth of inserts and another Hall of Famer with Bruce Suter there. So, at least we got ourselves a couple of Hall of Famers. And this is our final pack of this uh, amazing Donruss 1989 card find. Definitely be going back to that flea market, looking for more. Hopefully, he's got some more great bargains up there. So we got Jose Canseco 40-40 Club. I don't know that we've actually pulled that card yet. Pretty cool card. Tom Lampkin, Brett Saberhagen. So I don't think we're going to get any major rookies. We've got a nice Kurt Gibson there. So our final pack kind of saves us with some Jim Rice. He's a Hall of Famer. Earl Hershiser, MVP card. And we round out with Jeff Reardon and Hall. I think Frank Viola is in the Hall of Fame, I'm pretty sure. But the final pack saved us a little bit. We did not get any star rookies out of this, or any of the key rookies. There was a uh, rated rookie in there, but it was not one of the key ones. But I will share with you to round out this video the rookie cards that I did get out of this haul. So I did get a couple of Kurt Schilling. Sorry about that glare. A John Smoltz. Got a few Craig Biggios. Then we got a couple Randy Johnsons here. And then the big one, we got 
four Ken Griffey Juniors out of this. So overall, I'm very happy with my purchase, even though it started off a little bit slow. Those first eight packs were very, very hard to swallow because I uh, thought that maybe I'd been had, but uh, the rest of the packs redeemed themselves. And, you know, that's that's why I like to go to a lot of these off-the-wall places. Sure, you can get some good buys on eBay and, and other online sources, but always check out your local um, your local businesses like the flea markets and the card shops and, and such where you can always find great deals. So I was very fortunate to find that. Don't know the seller's name, but I, I do thank the uh, Vendor City Mall out up there in Kokomo for their uh, having that. Whoever has that booth, thank you. Appreciate it. Really, really sweet deal on those cards and all the other die cast and other things that you have. I hope to be going up there again soon. I'd like to go up there, my, me and my wife would like to go up there tomorrow if we can fit it into our schedule. If, if we do go up there, then you'll get another Flea Market Finds video because I know you guys like those. But anyway, once uh, once again, hope you all have a great Saturday. Later this afternoon, we're going to go to round two of the 2020 Donruss NASCAR Racing Hobby Box Rip. So I hope you guys look forward to that and come back and watch that as well. Once again, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and have a great day.